Earlier this year, a Chinese government-backed newspaper floated the idea that the People's Liberation Army Air Force J-20 would soon fire a laser weapon to incinerate opposing aircraft and ground targets. The U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory over the years has made great progress in developing laser weapons for ground and air applications, as many experiments continue to show great promise. The ultimate ambition, which hinges in large part on the speed at which a sufficient amount of mobile electric power can be scaled to a form factor small enough to arm a fighter jet. Hauling the amount of onboard power required for lasers has been a long-standing challenge, but AFRL and other service weapons developers anticipate that lasers may be fired first from larger cargo aircraft such as the C-130 before switching to smaller, faster fighters jet. This allows developers to leverage advances in technology for final applications on the F-35, F-15 and possibly even the emerging sixth-generation stealth next-generation air dominance platform. However, it won't surprise anyone to learn that a major US competitor is also working to arm stealth fighter jets with lasers. The Chinese military, for example, is prioritizing the development of laser weapons for aircraft integration, but there appears to be little information available on how mature and combat-ready they are. Interestingly, China's Global Times newspaper said that the PLA Air Force is working on an external, laser pod. While adding such a pod makes sense in the case of a non-stealth fourth-generation aircraft such as the Chinese J-10, it would seem difficult to add such a pod to a fifth-generation aircraft without compromising its stealth capabilities. While adding such a pod makes sense in the case of a non-stealth fourth-generation aircraft such as the Chinese J-10, it would seem difficult to add such a pod to a fifth-generation aircraft without compromising its stealth capabilities. The F-35 is expected to be able to fire laser weapons as well, and is likely to become possible in the next few years as developers innovate with new, smaller form factor design options capable of condensing massive amounts of power into a small, single, streamlined form. It seems unrealistic that the PLA Air Force would be working on this in an attempt to keep pace with the US Air Force. Lasers are a great tool for aerial interception, because the weapon can travel at the speed of light, there is no time delay. However laser weapons require large amounts of energy to be effective and that is a problem that must be overcome in order to be installed on an airplane. Questions regarding the progress of integrating laser weapons into fighter jets have largely centered around the need for a scalable and mobile power source. If enough power to produce rated power for a laser weapon exists in a form factor small enough to be integrated into a fighter jet, then the J-20's firing lasers are indeed realistic. How fast is the operative question, because the US Air Force Research Laboratory has made rapid progress on this problem over the years. Ground trials have been successful and the thought is to initiate air-fired lasers from larger aircraft such as the C-130. The idea of starting with a cargo plane for its first series of flights would help AFRL to experiment and refine its technology to the point where a laser powerful enough to impact could be integrated into a lighter stealth fighter. Also, can laser weapons be integrated into fifth-generation stealth fighter jets without compromising their stealth characteristics? The laser and its power source would likely need to emerge from the internal weapons bay to ensure that no structures were exposed to produce a strong radar return signal to enemy defenses. The F-35 is expected to be able to fire laser weapons as well, and is likely to become possible in the next few years as developers innovate with new, smaller form factor design options capable of condensing massive amounts of power into a small, single, streamlined form. Factor, laser-armed fighter jets could introduce an unprecedented area of combat advantage given that laser weapons travel at the speed of light and are silent, meaning they can fire without having to give out the aircraft's location in the middle of incoming fire. Lasers are scalable so fighter jets can pursue and achieve specific desired effect on targets ranging from simply disabling enemy systems to prevent them from using them, or vice versa, completely destroying and incinerating enemy targets from the air if needed.